All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Option Pit Morning Ball Report. As I am Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer, OptionPit.com. Filling in for Mark Sebastian on this Friday, March 10th. Our butterfly course tomorrow. It will be the best butterfly course you can take. I will do non-directional flies. He will do directional flies. Okay. Show you how these things work. All righty. Now with that. If you're an Option Pit Live member, you get these for free. You also get to troll our store as an Option Pit Live member. Right? Grabbing stuff willy nilly because they are available to you. It will not be like that forever, but for right now, it is. So get it while you can. It's a good deal. All right. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of good deals, Snap, one of our clients has sent me this. Here is the beginning snap skew, actually kind of flattish. Um, kind of flattish. Um, I was guessing my market on the straddle was $3, $5 for the one month straddle yesterday in our class. And it looks like uh, well, not bad for a one month straddle. Um, it was right on the bid. So I guess I haven't totally lost it yet. Um, the thing is, is what's amazing, what's what's interesting uh, about uh, this is the market. You're seeing 160 realized all. The market is totally discounting all this action, right? They're looking at this. They're saying, okay, it's going to move about a buck a day. A buck a day is around 4%. That's eh, like a 75 ball stock, maybe. Um, and that's where it's pricing. Actually, they're pricing 50 ball. Um, to the extent that this becomes hard to borrow, uh, we will see if that's interesting or not for us. Um, right now, let's take a look, right? Because shares are really not available. They didn't float very much. Let's take a look at how, let's just see if the puts are dear or not. I guess that's our big question. So I usually go a month out. This is a little more than a month, actually. Um, and 15 cents, ah, uh, I would say no, um, 15, yeah, 15, so you get a, there's a little borrow and there's a 20 cent credit, so there's a little bit, uh, of a borrow, uh, the, the conversions are trading for about even right now, so to the extent that, um, you tell that by, if I, if you're a liquidity provider, if you sell the call for 170, you buy the put for 160, you get a dime credit. Uh, that's only about one cent over parity. So basically, a liquidity provider right now would be happy to buy stock and buy puts in a Snap. So you could probably sell all you wanted um, at that way. We can look at that in our chat today and see if there's anything interesting. Um, to be honest, I think this vol is kind of fairish. Um, Based on just what's been happening, you know, nothing's really going to, I don't think we're going to start seeing really action until earnings come out or, you know, it starts to get in the headline news, it starts to get squeezed, we'll see. Um, I think a lot of traders have learned their lessons. You guys remember, I know it's hard to believe, but I think Twitter was, what, an 80 or $90 stock at one point uh, in, what, 2014? Uh, it came out and uh, it was heavily shorted early. Uh, squeezed up gigantically and then fell to earth uh, equally fantastically. And we'll see if Snap is the same way. But if history serves, that that could be the way that it moves, right? You get the uh, you get the quick rally. Uh, stock is heavily shorted, then they kind of squeeze it up a little bit, and down it goes. So that would not surprise me. Um, as far as you know, SPX goes, I think uh, the jobs number was pretty good. Uh, 2340, 2400 seems to be kind of the sticky spot. It would not surprise me if we finished green on the day because the market was looking right. There's, there seems to be less coming out of Washington the last week um, after all the bombshells of the weekend last weekend. Um, so I think that is playing with sentiment when you have vol so low, VIX is 11.69, and the market's at all-time highs. 
you know, just small things, small sentiment things can sort of turn things sideways. Um, but oil really isn't helping much. Uh, it's still, I would say it's kind of just sort of drifting. Um, there's not a lot there. Most of the oil stocks, let's say if we look at XLE, um, I think Mark looked at some time spreads in there yesterday. Just I, you, We could find some opportunity there. I think we're going to take a look at this. Um, I still think it's there. Um, it has not gone away. And it also doesn't look like anything related to oil is making a massive bounce anytime soon. You know, and that takes a chunk out of the S&P 500 as well. You know, we don't have the oil. We don't have oil falling apart. And I could see us getting up, uh, you know, kind of blasting away again. But for right now, uh, volatility seems to sit a little bit. Not much is happening with it. Um Next week, we're, we're decaying around 10 or 12 cents per week or per day at this point. You know, maybe the dead low for VXX next week, 16.25. Um, where VIX just will not go below 11. Uh, that's clear mostly because you kind of have the weekly tweet bomb, it seems. So it's not really dropping too much. At the same time, we're not in the position yet where it's getting a lift from anything going on in Europe. And if you take a look, um, you're still not catching. Remember, this volatility is going to be dead very soon. Um, this volatility, as far as 30-day and 90-day goes, right, still, still elevated. Right? What's interesting is you, this time spread idea is starting to look a little bit better this May, this May, May, June, or uh, May, April, I think. So. We'll take a look again. We'll be looking at it every day and see if there's a trade there. Um, so I think there's a little opportunity oils still, um, at least for some kind of premium selling. Uh, and the last thing here is like, where are the financials? Okay, they're done. They you're kind of sitting around not doing anything. So uh, the rate hikes look like they're going to happen. Um, the financials have made a run on that, and right now it looks like they're kind of petering out. Now that's sort of the, the good rate news is. So I think that's kind of the setup. So I easily can envision more of the same, uh, more, you know, equities kind of sort of sliding upward, realize vol staying very, very low, and making it for just not an easy trade environment. Um, so... That doesn't look like it's going to change today. It looks like you're going to get more of the same. Uh, and with that, I will see many of you in our chat room this morning. All right, you guys have a good day.